Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Inventory HUD Plus mod in Minecraft 1.18.1. We're going to go over every single step of this mod, but honestly, what is it? Well, it's a really, really cool mod that adds over, as you can see, a basically inventory HUD, so it shows your inventory on screen, but also things like the armor status HUD, which you can see here where it says how much of your sword is left, how much of your helmet is left, body armor, etc., as well as, I believe, potion effects and things like that can be done with this mod. Honestly, one of the coolest mods out there, you can see there's the different armor effects there, the inventory HUD, as well as the potion HUD. Looking good. Awesome stuff, and we will check this all out once we get in game later in the video. First and foremost, though, we do have some more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Just our very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much that we host our own server. Played our breakdowncraft.com on Apex. They are the best Minecraft server hosting company out there, so go check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's get Inventory HUD Plus up and running in Minecraft. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below in the description. Just click Show More under the video and you'll be able to see the entire description there and go ahead and click on the download inventory hut plus mod once you're here go ahead and look at the right hand side and scroll down until you see minecraft 1.18 under that we see forge 1.18 right there and we will click on the orange download button to the right of that then the download will begin after a few seconds once it does you'll probably need to keep or save this file so as you can see the download is beginning in the bottom left and you will need to keep this file on google chrome or save it in the server screen on mozilla firefox once you've kept or saved the file which is 100 safe to do over not many people have download inventory HUD, we're not done. We still need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows inventory HUD Plus to work once we get it in game. To do this, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing Forge, and we're going to be going over the basics in this video. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button to be taken to the official Forge download page. Once you're here, you want to make sure MC 1.18.1 is selected, and if it is, awesome. If it's not, come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.18, and select 1.18.1. Finally, come under Download Latest and click on the installer button. Once you click on that, take your hands off the keyboard, take your hands off the mouse, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just wait, wait about 10 seconds, and then in the top right, you will see a red skip button appear. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. That's it. That's the only thing you want to click is that red skip button. When you click on that, instantly Forge will start downloading in the bottom left, where you'll need to keep the file on Google Chrome. On Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it in the center of your screen. It's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title which it is. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to get Forge and Inventory Hub Plus to our desktop just because it's easier to manage once it's there. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. And this does work on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Nevertheless, once you click on that little Windows icon, go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Click on that. And in here, you'll find Forge and Inventory Hub Plus. Drag and drop both of these to your desktop right like so. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge here. Now, if these icons look different for you, that's okay. Just keep watching the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to fix it. If it's Internet Explorer, WinRAR, or anything else, we're going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and you should have Java. But if you don't have Java here, that's okay. We're going to show you how to fix it. Just keep watching. Nevertheless, if you do have Java, select it and click OK, and then it will open up the mod system install for Forge. Now, if you did have Java, you clicked OK, and it didn't work, guess what? We're going to show you how to fix it. And the reason I'm waiting to show you how to fix these icons, how to fix Java not being there, and how to fix basically Java not opening Forge when Java exists, right? Even though you have Java right here, right? It's not working. How do you fix all of those issues? They're all fixed the exact same way, and that is downloading and installing Java 17. Java 17 is required for Forge and Forge mods for Minecraft 1.18+. plus. Minecraft 1.18 in general requires Java 17, but with Minecraft itself, it basically auto installs it, but doesn't allow mods and things like that to work. And so that's why you need to download it here. We have an in-depth guide on our website that is linked in the description down below. Once you're here, go through the uh, little guide here, basically, and then you'll be good to go. You may need to run the jar fix as well. This is going to link the jar files back to Java. So if your icons are broken or something like that, after you install Java 17, run the jar fix. Nevertheless, at this point, we should have our icons all looking snazzy and we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for 
Forge, where we want to click on Install Client and click OK. So I'm going to download, install, and set up everything Forge needs for 1.18.1. The only reason this might not work is if you've not played Minecraft 1.18.1 without any mods or anything. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.18 vanilla, no mods, no anything, get to the main menu, close out of it, come back, and this will work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click OK here, and that will close out of the installer. Additionally, we do recommend having Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher closed when you install Forge. Otherwise, some weird things can happen. If you didn't have either of those open, just close out of them and then kind of skip back in the tutorial and repeat the installation process there. Nevertheless, with Forge installed, we can remove it from our desktop and we can go ahead and install Inventory HUD. The first step of this is obviously opening up the Minecraft launcher. Once we've opened up the Minecraft launcher here, we can then launch Minecraft with Forge. That's the important part, right? So once we're here, we want to make sure that we select the Forge profile or Forge installation that we have. As you can see, right there it is for me. And under it, it does say 1.18.1-Forge. So mine's auto-selected. I could click play, click play again. But if you don't have Forge right here, what you want to do is go in this little arrow next to the play button and select it in this menu. If it's not in that menu or if that is in the menu but the version under it's not 1.18.1, what we need to do is come up to installations. Then we want to go ahead and make sure modded on the right-hand side is checked. As you can see, you uncheck modded and Forge disappears. Check modded. There it is. Click play, click play again. But finally, if you still don't have Forge or you don't have that 1.18.1-Forge under it, go ahead and click the new installation button here. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.18.1 grief protected survival and skyblock server. Come play with us. Absolutely incredible server. You will love it. Now, we want to go ahead and click on the version drop down box here, and then we want to scroll down until we find release 1.18.1 forge. Mine's up here at the top. You may have to scroll down a way to find yours, but right here mine is. Once that's selected, I'm going to change the resolution. We don't have to do that, but I want you to be able to see it once we get in game. The most important part of this is that release 1.18.1 forge, and if this is in here, you need to go ahead and close out of Minecraft, all that stuff, and reinstall Forge. Now let's go and click the green create button, and then we now have this played our breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, click play again to confirm you're playing modded Minecraft, and the hard part is over. From this point, it's so simple and easy to install Inventory Hub Plus. It's going to blow your mind. Like, you're going to be like, wow, is that easy? Yes, it's that easy once you have Forge. The hard part of installing mods is getting Forge up and running, and I'm running this live so you can see how long it takes to get Forge open. Right now, there we go. As you can see, there was no jump cuts, no trickery or anything in that. It takes a while, and we're still not even into the Minecraft main menu, but as you can see, we are now loading up, and we will soon be in the main menu. And yes, Forge takes longer to load with mods than it does without. And we don't have any mods right now, so just keep that in mind. Nevertheless, though, here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu. And once we're here, we want to go ahead and click on this mods tab from the main menu. Then we want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, for the main menu, click on mods and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That's going to open up our mods folder right like this, where we want to take the inventory HUD that we downloaded and drag and drop that into the mods folder right like so. It's that simple to install Inventory HUD in Minecraft. Now we want to go ahead and close out of that, and it's not here. And it's not going to be here until we click Done and quit the game. We then want to open up the Minecraft launcher again, making sure that we are playing with that Forge profile. If you don't play with Forge, Minecraft is not going to have mods in it specifically Inventory HUD Plus in this case. So we want to make sure that Forge is selected. Ours is that custom Forge profile we created, and it does say 1.18.1-Forge under it. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with Inventory HUD Plus. We'll check it out in-game here and all that stuff, but all you need to know is the mod is now installed. If this did help you, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. That really does help us out, and we do appreciate it. Now, we're taking a while to load. As I said, it takes even longer to load Minecraft once you've got mods installed in it. So just keep that in mind. As you can see, it took a while, but it is loading up. So if it's like, where did, what, what's happening? It's loading. Just give it a minute. So here we are. We are finally loading in the main menu. And once we're there, it's super simple to quickly check if Inventory Hub Plus is installed. Just click on Mods, right? So we, from as you can see from the main menu, click on Mods, and there's Inventory Hub Plus. Now we can jump in game as well. Um, this is a modded profile, so that's not going to work. We'll jump into this world right here, the play.breakdowncraft.com seed, which is actually a pretty cool seed. Be sure to check out our uh, top five 1.18 seeds if you've not seen that already. But nonetheless, once we're in game here, we'll be able to see there it is, Inventory, or not Inventory, excuse Excuse me, the armor HUD right like so. Let's go ahead and uh, kind of fill out some things here. So we're going to get some of this stuff, but uh, I think what we really need is some uh, netherite armor here. I think everybody can agree on that. So let's go ahead and grab this, grab this, grab this, and this, as well as some boots. Let's go ahead and netherite the gear up here. And you can see that armor filling 
Now, the top one here is going to be what is in our hand. As you can see, that's going to be our tool or whatever's in our hand there is going to show. If it's a block, it will show right like so. Now, if you want to configure everything else, we can actually do that. Go into options here and then controls and then keybinds. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, here's your inventory HUD plus keybinds. Now, you can add a toggle to toggle the armor HUD on and off, the inventory HUD on and off, the Porsche potions or all HUDs. I'm going to go ahead and set all HUDs to be uh, apparently that one is taken. We're going to go ahead and see which one's not taken. There's one, there we go, U. So if I go ahead now and toggle this, we'll be able to see that the HUDs are toggling on and off. Um, I don't know why the inventory HUD's not working. I'm guessing maybe I don't have stuff in my inventory. There we go. So you can see it's in the middle of the screen. It's kind of ugly, honestly. And uh, we can open up the config with, uh, what was that? Control? Oh, O is the control to open up the config. So we go ahead and hit O here. We can configure where these are at uh, because it kind of looks weird. So as you can see, the inventory HUD is on or off. The armor status is on and off, and the potion status is on and off. All of these are turned on, which would make sense, but the HUD position is the big thing. So let's go ahead and move our inventory. I'm going to make it RuneScape-esque. So we're going to move it over here to the right-hand side. Potions are in the top right. And then armor, I want to move that over here to the left-hand side. Right like so. That way everybody can kind of see everything. Actually, I guess you can't see inventory, can you? We'll move that up here to the top right. So uh, now if we come back, there we go. So we can see our inventory over here. It was a bit confusing down at the bottom. So we have our inventory in the top right. We can go ahead and fill that out even more really fast just to prove a point. And uh, yeah, then we'll be good. So let's go ahead and just throw some more stuff on the ground here because uh, like I said, I just want to show you that it does show you your entire inventory in the top right of the screen. So if we do that and then bam, 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 move all of this stuff, you'll see boom in the top right that is our inventory now filled out and it's even like we have a blank space here if we move this down you can see it moves stuff around in the top right now for potions let's go ahead and just throw a splash potion on the ground and uh then we'll be good right so i think that's all we need so a splash potion and um we'll do a fire resistance so boom 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 and in the top right you can see that appears if we wanted to do you know, other stuff. For example, we wanted to do a uh, potion of harming. We could do that. Potion of strength, we can do that. And potion of luck. Why not? We'll throw all of them on the ground. Bam, 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 and bam. There we go. So you can see in the top left, everything that we currently have potions on is uh, active and counting down. So awesome stuff there. One of the coolest mods I've ever seen. And then also what's cool is if you like take damage. So if we do go into survival, we will be able to see that uh, our armor is damaged. So bam and boom. Oh, netherite's just so powerful. <laughs> it's not actually damaging the netherite armor, but it does change at the bottom left in our case, but you can configure that to be wherever you want. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. This has been the Inventory Hub Plus mod, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.